Sri Lanka is a neighboring country located near the southern coast of India. It is an island. It is separated from the Indian mainland by the Park Strait. There is a series of rocky islands from the southern coast of India up to the coast of Sri Lanka. It is called Adams Bridge or Rama Setu. On account of its beautiful natural scenery, Sri Lanka is called an emerald island. Let us study about extent and boundaries. Sri Lanka extends from 5 degrees 55 minutes north to 9 degrees 50 minutes north latitudes and 79 degrees 40 minutes east to 81 degrees 55 minutes east longitudes. The Bay of Bengal lies to the north and east of Sri Lanka. The Indian Ocean lies to its west and south. The Gulf of Manar lies between India and Sri Lanka. Physical Features The central region of southern Sri Lanka is mountainous. Adams Peak and Pidurutha Lagala are the two high peaks in this region. The coastal area is a region of hills and valleys. There are many saltwater lakes here. There are many tiny islands near the flat region of the Jaffna Peninsula to the north. Rivers Most of the swift flowing rivers from the central mountainous region flow towards the coast in all directions and meet the sea. The biggest river, Mahaveli Ganga, is in the eastern region. Now we shall study about the climate of Sri Lanka as Sri Lanka is very close to the equator, the climate is hot and humid. There is little variation in the annual temperature. For example, the maximum temperature at Colombo is 28 degrees Celsius in summer, whereas the minimum temperature in winter is 25 degrees Celsius. The temperature in the central mountainous region is low because of the high altitude. Though Sri Lanka is near the equator, the climate is greatly influenced by the monsoon winds. The southwest monsoon winds blow mainly from May to September and it causes heavy rainfall in the southwestern region of the country. The average rainfall is from 1650 millimeters to 2500 millimeters. The northern and eastern region receives less rain as it is a rain shadow region. Sri Lanka receives rain from the northeast monsoon winds in the month of January. This rain is received in all the areas in the north and east. Considering the distribution of rainfall, the southwestern regions which receive heavy rainfall are called wet zone, whereas the Jaffna Peninsula and the Northeast region are called dry zone. Vegetation The rainfall is heavier in the mountainous region of the country. Hence, it is covered with dense evergreen forests of the equatorial type. There are deciduous forests in the low rainfall areas, whereas grass is found in the scanty rainfall areas. Trees seen in the forests are mahogany, blackwood, bamboo, teak, mango, jackfruit, etc. Eucalyptus trees are planted on the mountain slopes. Animals Animals found in the forests are elephants, bears, wild buffaloes, monkeys, etc. Bullocks and wild buffaloes are useful for working on the farms and elephants are used for carrying logs. Let us study in detail about occupations of Sri Lanka. Agriculture Sri Lanka is an agricultural country. Rice is grown in the lowlands and by the terrace farming method on hill slopes. Earlier, the production of rice was less but it has increased with the use of 
modern technology. This country is now self-sufficient in rice production. Tea plantations are found on the upper slopes of the mountains. Sri Lanka is one of the major countries exporting tea. There are rubber plantations on the lower slopes of the mountains. There are coconut plantations in the lowlands in the western and southern coastal regions. The coconuts from Sri Lanka are considered to be the best in the world. In addition, mangoes, bananas, jackfruit, papayas, pineapples, etc. are also grown. Spices like cloves, black pepper, cinnamon, etc. are grown in plantations. Cultivation of tea, coconut, rubber is undertaken commercially. The government has established many research institutes to help increase this production. Agriculture is now getting mechanized. The rivers are swift flowing and many plantations and farms are situated along hill slopes. The main environmental problem therefore is soil erosion. Another problem is the accumulation of alluvial soil at the mouths of the rivers. That is why constant efforts for soil conservation have become necessary. Mining There are mines of precious stones like ruby and topaz. Mines of mica, tungsten and graphite are also found here. Next is occupations based on marine resources. Sri Lanka is surrounded by sea on all sides. That is why Fishing is carried on on a large scale. There are salt pans on the northeastern coast. Retrieving and harvesting pearls from pearl oysters is an occupation near the Gulf of Manar. Industry Sri Lanka mainly uses thermal energy. It is generated by using petroleum and coal. A hydroelectric project has been started on the Gul Oya River. There are traditional industries like extracting coconut oil, making coir, making coir articles like mattresses, doormats, etc. There are some other industries like hand looms, manufacturing plastic and rubber articles, processing of tea, etc. Trade Sri Lanka imports mineral oil, textiles, machinery, coal, vehicles, etc. and exports tea, coconuts, rubber articles, precious stones, spices, ropes, etc. Transport The transport in Sri Lanka is mainly carried out by roads, railways and sea routes. The modes of transport have developed better in the western part of the country. The important ports are Colombo, Jaffna and Trincomali. There is an international airport at Colombo. We shall now study in detail about the human life in Sri Lanka. The main language of the Sinhalese people of Sri Lanka is Sinhalese. There is a dense Sinhalese population on the western coastline and plains in the north. The Tamil people live in the northern and eastern part of the country. Adivasis of the Veda tribe live in the central mountainous region of the country. Majority of the people in Sri Lanka are Buddhist. The staple diet of the people in Sri Lanka is rice and fish. Coconut preparations and fruits are also included in the diet. People wear cotton clothes because of the hot and humid climate. Men wear a lungi and a shirt. Women wear cotton saris. Cricket is a popular sport. Coming to the tourism and important cities. Sri Jayavardhane Pura Kote. It is the newly set up judicial and legislative capital of Sri Lanka. This city is situated on reclaimed marshy land. It is near Colombo. Colombo. Colombo is the commercial and administrative capital of Sri Lanka and an international port on the western coast.
This is an artificial port. Almost all the cities are connected to Colombo by various transport routes. There is an international airport here. Hence, it is an important trading center. Kandy. This city is situated in the southern mountainous region. It is a hill station. The Buddhist temple here is very famous. There are tea and rubber plantations in this region. Anuradhapura. Anuradhapura was the capital of Sri Lanka in the past. There is an impressive and huge statue of Buddha in this city. Trikomali is situated near the mouth of the river Mahaveli Ganga and is an important port on the eastern coast. Jaffna. This city is an important port on the northern coast. It is a trading center. Talai Manar. This city is situated on the coast of the peninsula in the Gulf of Manar. The important occupation here is retrieving pearls from the sea. This city lies closest to India.